Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the starting 11 show. Everton versus Southampton in the Carabao Cup. Everton have to win this game. Sean Dyche needs a win. It's as simple as that. Everton have to win this game. So let's get into it. In goal, Jordan Pickford. A um, bit shaky on Saturday from that first goal, I thought. But I'm not going to start messing about with, with, with goalkeepers at this stage of the season. So Jordan Pickford, that's the start for me. Uh, back four, I'm going with Roman Dixon at right back. Um, obviously, Ashley Young started against Villa, but obviously ended up at left back. James Garner came on. I just think, I just think Dixon played played against Tottenham, and I just think obviously he came on in the last the last round against Doncaster. I just start him. Listen, Seamus Coleman might be back, but I just start Dixon. I just think the lad needs opportunities. That right back position is just a mess. It's been a mess for a while. And, yeah, Patterson might be back soon as well. He might be back for this game for all I know. We don't know because no one's told us anything. But I'm just going to go for Dixon and let a young player get an opportunity. He's got bags of pace, OK? Might not be the best defender in the world, but let's see someone else get stretched by a bit of pace. Let's see him going into the final third and having a run at some of their plays. Let's see him get himself out of trouble by that pace. It's a learning curve, is it? And this is a great place for him or a great opportunity for him to uh, take a chance. At left-back, Mikhalenko went off with illness. Now, that was Saturday. Now, this game's Tuesday. Has he recovered in time? Who knows? But I'm going to go with Mikhalenko because I just think that if there's an opportunity, if he's been, you know, seen the doctor and everything, then there's an opportunity, then he'll start the game for me. Um, and that makes you know that, that seems to make more sense than Ashley Young starting anyway. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for Michalenko. It's another it's another stop start moment for him in a stop start what well, four or five months for him. You know after the Mayside Derby and then the Euro. So hopefully he's back fit for this game. And centre back James Tarkowski start and for me he's been a little bit shaky of late. He missed the last round. But I think it's important to get games under his belt now because um, that sharpness just doesn't seem to be there. Now, whether he's if he's carrying an injury, then maybe the manager will see an opportunity to leave him out. If it is sharpness, then you play him. Obviously, I don't know that, that information. So I'm going to go for him to start alongside Jacob Bryan. Obviously, we saw him in the Premier League for the first time on Saturday against Villa. So he needs an opportunity to start uh, a game. Obviously, he did in the Carabao Cup. Uh, and let's see what he's all about. He'll be up against Premier League players this time rather than uh, League Two players. So he's got to get games. Brantwaite, we hope, is not far away from starting for Everton or being involved. So, but Jacob Bryan needs an opportunity, and this is that game. Ahead of them in midfield, uh, I'm going to put James Garner in there. Obviously, he came on at right back at the weekend. Uh, was involved in the last game in the League Cup. I think this is a good opportunity for him to start a game uh, back in midfield. Um, and obviously, we know he's a good player. And he knows he protects. We know he's good on the ball, good tackler. Good opportunity for him. And alongside, I'm going to go for Mangala, who obviously came off the bench against Villa as well. Good opportunity for him to play his first minutes for Everton from the start of a game. See what he's all about. Gives a... Uh, gives... A Jessica gain opportunity to have a rest and Tim Irabunamu. Yeah, it's looked good at home, but not necessarily good away. And just gives an opportunity for someone else just to see if they are good enough to go into the event side. And ahead of them, I'm going to go for Dwight McNeil. I think he's done well in that position the last couple of games. So leave him in there. Another opportunity to score some goals, get some assists, and keep progressing with the confidence in that role. On the left hand side, I'm going to go for in in Dai, um, obviously he's been playing well there so far this season. Again, an opportunity. He's done well in the last couple of home games, that League Cup game and the game uh, against Bournemouth, obviously done very well. Um, creating opportunities, scoring in the last round. In fact, he got goal of the round, didn't he, with the goal against Doncaster. So hoping for that similar display again. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to go for Lindstrom, who's been a little bit underwhelming so far, but I do think he needs games. I think this is a good opportunity. Um, Jack Harrison has been a bit hit and miss, which is pretty much a Jack Harrison trait. 
So an opportunity for Lindstrom to start a game and see what he's all about. And up front for me, I'm going to go for Dominic Alvin Loon. I know there'll be calls for Bethel to be involved in this, but I just think this is a game Everton must win. And if you're going to go, if it's a must win, then you you got to have your striker in there. He scored uh, two in his last two, and I know people will say he should ha he should have more, but he had scored two in his last two, and this is an opportunity to keep that going. We're a much better side when Dominic Alvin Loon's in it. So for me, he starts up front. There you go. That's my eleven. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who do you think should be starting for Everton against Southampton in the Carabao Cup? Let me know. Make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to check out the match preview Jack and myself have done for this game. And if you want exclusive videos, daily live videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description. The QR code's coming on the screen now. See you later.